Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 2, venturing through the second of the Dreamland Kirby series. As we explore these very aggressive waddledies, uh, and go about uh, saving the world, or something like that. That's what Kirby usually does. Uh, the exact plot of this game uh, escapes me a little bit. But it has to do with something called uh, dark matter uh, going about and causing trouble. Which brings me up to the point of this being the first game in what they kind of call the Dark Matter Trilogy. Also, we're a rock now. And we can tumble down hills and stuff. It's pretty neat. We. Oh yeah, this game is part of the, uh, what they call the Dark Matter Trilogy, which, uh, involves Kirby's Dream Land. Oh, whoop, no, there goes my, uh, stone ability. Oh well. Uh, maybe I can go grab it again real quick. <laughs> yes, go, get over here. I need this. I need to be rock. I need to rock. Okay, cool. The Dark Matter Trilogy involves um, this game, Dreamland 3, and then the third part is Dreamland, I mean, uh, not Dreamland, Kirby 64, which is a little strange in its own right, because it's a trilogy that spans three different game systems, and three kind of very distinct, oh, come on, I wanted that. <laughs> I want that thing. Fine. Darn it. <laughs> I want things, and the game won't let me have things. I need to... Ah, I'm not going to be able to get him. And I'm... Whoops! I died. That's a problem. Well, first life lost. It happens. I don't really know how to get up here without accidentally... There we go. Okay. Cutter! Notably in this game, uh, we can use most of our copy abilities underwater, which is not always really a thing in Kirby games. <laughs> um, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, the Dark Matter Trilogy. It spans three games, of course, but it spans three different uh, game systems than three games that I think were made a good distance apart from each other. They all kind of involve uh, an entity called Dark Matter, which is just a general evil bad guy sort of uh, energy alien threat, kinda. I don't real I'm not really totally versed on my Kirby lore, uh, so forgive me if I get things wrong. But uh, even though its presence is not terribly apparent much in this game. It's much more of an active sort of threat in a game like, say, Kirby 64. Um, it's it's still around every now and then. Like, for Gooey, for example, Gooey is a being made of dark matter, but he's good dark matter. So, yeah. That's trivia, I suppose. Oh, whoop. Alright, hold on. Okay. I feel like I should have uh, an umbrella for this to more gently uh, get around places. <laughs> uh, uh, and we've got pipes blowing us around. Pipes? What is this? Super Mario Brothers? Okay. Ah, oh, we got jellyfish. How about you? Ow, that's my face. Why did I start flying. I didn't really mean to do that. My thumb just kind of rolled across the, uh, um, yeah. Okay, well, you're dead. Jellyfish is gone, but we got Kine! He is fish. Kine can't really do much unless you're in the water. But once you're in the water, he is a very good swimmer, and he can even fight against these currents here that, uh, blow you around otherwise. And, uh, he's 
typically the least useful of the animal buddies, just because... Um... Whoops. I need that back. And hey, uh, we can recover our copy ability while we're underwater with Kine. He's technically the least useful of the animal buddies, just because he mostly comes in handy when you are underwater. And not every game has... I mean, uh, not every level has underwater sections. So... Uh, he's... He has uses. And it honestly, um, if we're going for, like, a full kind of completion of this game, which we are, uh, Kine is very useful for that. Uh, for example, Kine comes in handy in rooms that are dark like this. Um, we need to... We, need, we would need to have a certain combo with Kine and uh, copy ability in order to better navigate dark areas like this. Uh, I just killed the enemy that would let me do that and show that off, but you know what? Again, it's not too important. Uh, we will go about our business and we will come back to that. <laughs> Ow. Alright. Let me exit the water. Fight these round frogs. Yeah, when you're not in the water, Kine, he can only really jump and very slowly shuffle across the land, which, yeah, it makes sense. He's a fish. Also, we do get the very amusing aspect of Kirby placing Kine on his back in order to do the bonus game. <laughs> Uh, is that fish cruelty? It might be, but it's fine. Once we're in the water, Kine is much more at home, and we can continue to, uh, shoot our cutter crescent waves at things. Which is very, very nice. Very fun. A uh, very fun aspect of the game. And yeah, he does uh, make traversing water areas much more useful, uh, much more handy. And he, since normally we can't uh, do our Kirby copy suckage uppage uh, in the water, uh, he does allow us to do that during the water stages. So, that's pretty cool. It is definitely pretty cool. Eels. Gotta get rid of the eels. Definitely very important. They kind of remind me of the snakes in Super Mario Brothers 2 slash Super Mario USA slash Doki Doki Panic. Oh, hello there. You are a rock. But it's fine. Well, I feel like I might have missed something. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay, though. We're good. It's okay. It's all right. No, I want that. Give me that back. Uh, I can't defend myself like that. <laughs> All right, it we're 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 not okay. Kind took the hit for us, and now we don't have him. Oh well, his sacrifice will not be in vain. Uh, all right, we got we and we only have bubbles to defend ourselves with. <laughs> it's okay, we we're good. That is an important note, though, is that the animal buddies technically act as kind of like a second health bar for you. So, if you lose them, if you lose your health, you don't necessarily lose a life while you're using them. Which is neat. But now we've got to uh, take on a boss here without any kind of copy ability. Uh, again, the name of this guy escapes me, but it's fine. We just gotta get very uncomfortably close to him to hit him with bubbles. Which I don't think is going to necessarily work in our favor. Yeah. Um, can I leave? Yes. I'm going to go get a copy of Bounty back. <laughs> Uh, I think that would definitely help out there. I'm also probably going to go get Kine back, so, be right back. Okay, we are back again, and, uh, we have Kine, and we also have 
the spark ability, which gives us light bolt missiles. Which, if I recall correctly, are a very useful ability, considering they have a wide area explosion there. That makes doing this boss uh, now... Whoops, we lost it though. Uh, it makes the boss much easier, but I stopped paying attention and got hit. So, yeah. It's fine though. The boss provides us with ammunition anyway. <laughs> because Kine is an underwater master. And we do a cute underwater swimming thing. Yeah, I'm not really sure how reliably you can do that boss without Kine. In, in some form, I think. I don't... Th I'm sure you could do the bubble method, but I don't think the bubble method is really going to do you much favors there. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to level 4, it's Iceberg! Oh, Kirby latches onto Rick because he's a warm, fuzzy creature. Oh, we've got four stages now. Okay. We are, we are uh, getting up there. Cool beans. Out oh, and kinds gone. Okay, it's fine. We got needle now. That's pretty cool. I want spark though. I want spark back. Same sparky, you see. Yes, this is much better. But it's okay. Kind kind did his job, and we can go about and do other things. Oh, but. We need to fall into a pit and die. As it so turns out. <laughs> what I was trying to do was jump down here. It's an icy level, and we've got ice blocks here. And we can jump into them with our fire powers and get uh, Rick to help us do stuff. Yeah. Oh man, these things these things are awful. Wow. I just remembered what those things do and they instantly kill animal buddies. Wow, okay. I am I am having a hard time with this. <laughs> oh, come on. Fine. I I won't use Rick then. Screw you. Screw these things, too. Yeah, they are completely docile. Oh, man. The slippery nature of this level um, is causing issues. And so is everything else. It's weird, though. Oh, we got ice now. Cool. So, yeah, this is an ice-themed area, obviously. It's called Iceberg. And... Yo, we're slipping around on the ice, and it's a little awkward to get used to. Um, and it's just a little disarming because there isn't necessarily because of like the color palette on everything. Everything kind of looks the same, so um, it makes it. Weirdly, so it's, like, harder to tell what you're standing on is, like, an icy service. Ow. That was my face. I'm losing a lot of lives on this level, if I'm being perfectly honest. It's a little bit of a problem. But we got the stone guy. We need to kind of convince him to crash into a wall, it seems. And I cannot suck up that rock in time. There we go. <laughs> That's a little more like it. Ow! Stop! This whole, uh, this whole stage is just giving me all sorts of trouble. Get out of my face. <laughs> I'm not crazy about you. <laughs> I will be a rock. I will rock and roll, as they say, down the slopes. You can't do anything to me. I'm gonna tumble down, and I'm gonna crush everything in my path. I'm just gonna let this go. 
Hopefully I don't fall into a pit. I fell into a Gordo. That would have been bad. Okay, cool. Finally finished that level. <laughs> After having a lot of trouble with it. But we're fine. We're okay now. Yay. And yeah, there are four stages now. Okay. Whoop. And we got harsh winds. That. I can't really do much of about. They're even blowing us in rock form, which is you think wouldn't happen? <laughs> as long as we're airborne, it looks like we can't really do... Whoops, accidentally went through that door. Didn't really mean to do that, but we're here. Oh, but we can leave. Uh, of course... Now we got this guy to deal with. Let's just fight him. Let's just move onward. I already spent a lot of time dying in this uh, <laughs> video, so, you know. Ah, cool. This is more like it. Okay, I remember now. We need Koo to fight the harsh winds. Because we can't really do anything about... Uh, this situation without him. <laughs> and just kind of having the umbrella power here is very helpful. <laughs> uh, I do love this power combo. The unstoppable owl tornado of destruction. Considering it protects us from the falling spikes. And such... Don't really need the maximum tomato, but we're gonna grab it anyway, just because we feel like it. Now, Kirby, go through the door, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's more like it. That's satisfying. Crashing through the blocks. Oh, hello. We have a, a collection of powers to use. I think we'll stick with Umbrella, though. It's fine. Stone Needle, Burning, Cutter, Ice, and um, and uh, Parasol, it seems, are our six main copy abilities. Uh, presumably. Though, uh... Okay, I get it. We do need to switch abilities, though, it's here, it seems. Whoops, accidentally took a screenshot. It's fine, though. Uh, I'm guessing we need our fire. Kind of gives us a downward uh, dive. Ah, and that guy ruined our lives again. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Those guys there. The guy, the guy that. Guys that instantly kill your animal buddies. I'm not crazy about them. But it's all right. We can make our way through here. To the end of the stage with us. Yay. Neat. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's just move onward. Let's see if we can... Um... Kind of finish off world four here I don't think there's really necessarily a reason for us to do so ah and yeah we got slippery floors again it's just because of the general color scheme of things it makes it difficult to necessarily like determine what kind of floor is gonna be slidey and what's not like whoops ah I accidentally started flying again. I don't like that. We got Mr. Frosty, though. I remember your name. You're gonna throw stuff at us? You're gonna show us your butt? Yes. Yes, you are. You can't do anything to me. I am Kerbo. 
See, this floor, it's got kind of just an icy looking texture to it, I guess? Hi, kind. Um... Oh, we got kind of a... Uh, the freeze ability with kind like this. Okay. Where it's an overall... Um... I I icy shield rather than, like, the ice breath. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, that's cool. Um... But, yeah. Some of this you can tell they kind of tried to make it shiny looking, so you could tell it's icy. But, like here, these they also seem to be icy floors, and they don't really look like they should be icy. It's a little bit of an oopsie with the graphical design, I think. <laughs> but I'm starting to get used to it. Just in time to be almost done with this world, of course. Ah, I took you out before you could kill me. Definitely. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Don't want to get too happy. There's still danger everywhere. You can take those guys out before they murder your animal buddies, which is good. Also, trying to navigate this place with Kine. You can't fly. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, but it's okay. Neat. Alright, but yeah. It's only fair that we keep moving on and try to take out... Oh, hello. We already have a boss fight. That's pretty cool. Um... Whoops. Uh, okay, hold on. Gonna have to ask you to stop your nonsense. Honestly, fighting the mini-bosses definitely seems to go way easier when you don't have a copy ability. <laughs> it's okay, though. Uh, yeah, let's trade out kind for Rick. That seems like a good idea. Oh, and we've got auto-scrolling. That's great. And things attacking us from behind. That's perfect. <laughs> Guess we gotta be careful about that. And the blocks that are going to collapse underneath us. It's okay. It's fine. Ow. I didn't realize tapping... What? Oh, man. That's lame. Rick was too tall, and he got squished. How about no? How about don't bounce at me? I'm not crazy about you, and your bouncing nonsense. Assaulting me from behind. Alright, alright. Oh, we just gotta navigate without Rick. And we'll lose our copy ability, too. That's That was intentional. Alright, that, that star's a lost cause. Can't do much about it. We can be a rock, though. It's fine. Ah, uh, the stage is gonna keep scrolling. <laughs> okay. If we did not escape, we would have been crushed. Ow. Honestly, I... I kind of would rather have Cutter, if I can have that. Nope, I accidentally sucked my rock back up. It's okay, though. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll deal with it. There we go, got that. Ow. Okay. Uh, goodbye, I guess. Oh, you're, oh, you almost came back to me. It almost came home, but then it exploded. Um, oh, ice blocks. Ah, we could have gotten a one-up. We needed to keep that burning, about that uh, burning or fire ability, it seems. Huh. Oh, well. We will manage without it, I think. And we've 
got Shotzos. Oh, I actually ducked under that shot. I didn't know that was a thing. I was just kind of doing it in vain, hoping that that would happen. And more spikes. Okay. Alright. Hey, maximum tomato. Nice. Okay. Doobly 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 do. Okay. Let's see if we can knock out this boss. It's the ice dragon. I I remember you are an ice dragon. Can I defeat you without a copy ability though? I wonder how well this will go. I don't quite remember what you do. Ah, but you drop the icicles. Okay. Yeah, I think we can do this. Teams. Oh, and you shoot those. Okay, alright, okay. Oh, I missed. I did. I did, I missed, I'm a fool. Boy, you really like getting close. And I'm not crazy about the fact that I can accidentally hit the spikes while I'm flying. Kirby, stop accidentally flying. <sighs> Ow. Yeah, that's that's my face that you're uh, tearing through. Ow. Okay. That's not going great. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a copy ability again, I think. <laughs> uh, just because... It seems like that's going to be a smarter thing to do. Also an animal buddy, because I like hacking double health. Alright, I don't know if this is necessarily the best combination, but we do have a long-range attack with Kine and Fire. It seems to be working okay. <laughs> um, getting around him is definitely an issue. Too many objects on the screen, causing the game to slow down a little bit. But we have the capability of just kind of spamming fireballs at him, and there we go. Ice Dragon's down. Neat. We dance. We dance and dance and dance. Yes. Alright. Well, this ended up being a little longer than I really expected. But, uh, hey, we're making pretty good progress here. Level 5, Red Canyon up next. The silly antics of Kirby and his animal buddies. Alright, but cool beans. We will go ahead and pick up things here next time. Uh, for right now, though, this is your good friend Sparky signing off, and I will catch you later.